Look at my wasp. Here comes my wasp. My wasp has googly eyes, two pairs of wings, and look, I've got beautiful beads on my wasp. Here's her thin waist, her abdomen, and here's her stinger. She's got a bangle on, so just like the butterflies that you made, and she has three pairs of legs, and she can fly wherever she wants to go. So it's going to be quite tricky to make the wasp, but I think your mum can help you. So mum, we're going to start with the um, wasp here. We're going to use white glue, and we're going to put glue over there, at the pokey pointy part, and you're going to put the stinger, the toothpick stinger, over there, cover it with glue, and look at the triangle, the, the shape matches her tail. That's going to hold the stinger in place. Push it down, push it down, push it down. We're going to stay using the strong glue today, and on her thorax, you're going to spread some strong, strong, strong glue. There we go. And we're going to put three pairs of legs, purple legs. I've actually put these upside down, I think, the way Betty folded them for us. Betty and Polly have been very busy children making all these things for you. There are three pairs of legs. Pat them down. If you want to, you can make a little bend here because I'm sure you saw in the picture of the wasp they need to be able to hold on. So you can make a little bend. There we go, pat it down, pat it down. Now I'm going to put some more glue on top for the bangle. So this is the underneath of the wasp. Here we go. Now I'm going to leave her to dry for a little bit while I work with my wings. I've got one, two, three pipe cleaners of different colors. I'm going to join these two moms. Look how we just twist them, twist them, and twist them together. So on the red one, I'm going to put some beads. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight beads. So if I put two beads on this wing, at two and four, it will match. So I'm going to thread, and this is our fine motor, one, two, three, and four. You'll have to count your beads, and I'm going to twist it to make a wing. There's my wing with some beads and now I'm going to put four on here. One, two, fine motor, hand eye coordination, your eyes and your hands are working together and I'm going to twist it. You can twist it, mum can hold it, you can just twist it. Right, I have the set of big wings. Can you see the big wings there? This, this one is pink and blue, this one is red and orange. The little wings, we're not putting beads on. Find the middle, there's my middle, more or less, and I'm going to twist it over to make a little wing, and I'm going to twist it over. Children, you can do this, I know you can. So I now have small wings and big wings, and the other thing I need from my little dish is my Google eyes. One, two. Now, while I was making my wings, she was drying. I'm going to turn her over. Remember, she's still a little bit wet. And I'm now going to get some washing pegs. And I'm going to put lots of glue here. Lots of glue. Can you see how much glue? And I'm also going to give a dot of glue. And this little earbud is getting all yucky, so I'm going to throw it away when I'm finished here. I'm going to put my Google eyes on. And I'm going to put my wings on. And this is where it's quite tricky. This is where an adult needs to help you. You can put washing pegs on to peg it down and to hold it until it's dry. So you leave it all pegged up like that. Here's another one I'm going to peg over here. Holding the wings, let them dry. When it's dry, I made this one yesterday. Look, the wings, you can put them up. You can put them down. Oh, this little wing popped off. And there we go. Compound eyes, three pairs of legs, two pairs of wings. 
head, thorax, abdomen, a thin waist for the wasp and a sting that can sting more than once. Hmm. I'm going to go and smell if there's any chemical that my other wasps have left behind to see if I need to go and help sting some animals for lunch. Goodbye wasps. Bye bye.